guys so I often get questions about how often do I clean my hamsters cage and how do I clean them so many of you may know that I actually very rarely do a full clean on my hamsters cage just because it is very stressful especially if you have large cages it actually really isn't even necessary to do a very large full clean and Removing all of that bedding just isn't necessary. One, it's a waste of money. Two, it stresses your hamster out. So, yeah. So essentially, once a month, I will do this type of clean out. And this is where I kind of go, go more in depth into the cage and just look for soiled areas. Whereas every other couple days, um, I will clean out like soiled spots and just spot clean more so. This is kind of more of a bit of a more in-depth clean but at the same time it's not because I'm not removing every morsel from the cage and this door is very squeaky so I apologize for that. First I am just going to start by removing basically all of the toys just so it makes things a bit easier plus there's sometimes poop and everything hidden. And usually Tater Tot will wake up. She always wakes up when I'm doing something with her cage. So I put her in her travel carrier so that I can work on her cage without having to worry about her falling out. Come back. Hi. Do you want to come out? I'm going in your carrier. Come here. So there is Tater Tot. Say hello. So now that I've removed most of the toys, the toys in here, I am going to look under the bedding and basically just look for uh, accumulation of poop, um, look for pieces that have been peed on. Because I use the KT Clean and Cozy, it's white and it helps me see the soiled areas because it simply will be yellow. So the reason that I lift all of the bedding is because Tater Tot's poops are so small they fall right to the bottom. So that's where all of her poop is going to be so it makes it easy to find. So I just found Tater Tot's little hoard of food. Oh my gosh! This is why I don't feed Tater Tot very often because she has a the biggest hoard of food. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there is another food hoard. What? <laughs> So now I'm just going to put all of this bedding back because I cleaned out most of what was dirty. So since I did remove a bit of bedding, I'm just going to add in some fresh bedding on top. And then we can start putting back some of the um, accessories. So next, I'm just going to clean up on these platforms. There's a lot of poop. She always poops up there and she also pees up there. So we have to clean that. For removing the pee off the platforms, I just take a little bit of a paper towel and I take some water vinegar solution and I spray it on there and then I wipe it. So 
So I went ahead and I uh, washed her wheel as well and got her some fresh water. And then I'm going to take my herbs and just sprinkle them around the cage. As well as I have to clean the sand bath out, which I will do in a second, but I also add in some of the sprays. So then last but not least, we add our hamster back in to her fresh new cage. Clean. It's all clean. Yeah. So that is how I clean my hamster's cages. I do the same thing for the series as well. This is the least stressful way I find that way I'm not removing a lot of their smells I, I do have to go through their burrows but that's just necessary because you have to remove the dirty spots so that is going to have to happen but I try to do it um, as little as possible so yeah guys thank you so much for watching bye